Okay, we're going to be looking at combinations without repetition. Okay, we're going to start with that one because the one with repetition is a little bit hairy. All right, so here's an example. Julia, Emma, and Talia have entered a combination contest where 10 gummy bears are awarded to the first two winners. Two names are chosen without replacement. Okay, in this case, it's, you win if you, you know, you, you win, you get 10 gummy bears if you're chosen first, you get 10 gummy bears if you're chosen second. It doesn't matter whether you're chosen first or second. Okay, so in this case, order does not matter. We're just combining things. We're very calm and casual about combinations. We don't care about the order. Okay, think about it that way. Combinations, the order does not matter. We don't care. We're calm. We're just combining things. We're putting them together. Okay? So, two names are chosen without replacement. Okay, so you're taking a name out, you read it, and you throw it away. We don't care. Okay, so that name is not in the list to be chosen the second time. Okay, so two names are chosen without replacement. A name will be drawn. That person is given ten gummy bears. The name is not put back into the hat. Another name is chosen, and that person is also given 10 gummy bears. All right. Gummy bear. All right, so here we have Emma, Talia, and Julia. All right, so the possible winners. So the trick to this is you want to think of it at first as a permutation. So we pretend that there's a difference between first and second place, right? So and remember, in combinations, order does not matter. Okay, who was chosen first or second? does not matter. Okay? Does not matter. All right. So if we choose Emma first, can we then choose Emma second? No, okay? Because she's out of the list. So that that's not a possible winner. All right. If we choose Emma first, um, can we choose Talia second? Sure. If we choose Emma first, can we then choose Julia? Yeah, why not? Okay, if we choose Talia first, can we then choose Emma? Well, no, because we've already we already have this. Okay, there's there's really no difference between Emma winning and Tally winning and Tally winning and Emma winning. Okay, so we already have that. Okay, if we choose Tally first, can we choose Tally second? No, because it's without replacement. Okay, we're not putting Tally back in. All right, if we choose Tally first, can we choose Julia? Yeah, why not? We don't have that already. Okay, if we choose Julia first, can we then choose Emma? Well, no, we've already we already have that scenario, right? So there's no difference between these two. Okay. Um, if Julia wins first, can we pick Talia? Well, no, because we already have that here. Okay. And if we pick Julia first, can we then pick Julia second? No, because it's without replacement. Okay, so there's only three possible outcomes, okay? So the, for the first position, we only have three possible people. We have three possible people. Okay, for the second pers person, um, let's pretend we pick Julia first, okay, so we can't pick her second, all right? We only have two possible outcomes, okay? So the trick to this one is, let's say we pick these two people. So it doesn't matter whether we pick them that way or that way. The order, the order does not matter. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're just we're going to do it the same way we did permutations. Okay, we're going to think. Okay, you have six. We did uh, three times two. Okay. Okay. In a permutation where the order was important, there was a big difference between this outcome and that outcome. Right. So what we did is we just did um, like 3 times 2 to get that number. But since we don't care whether, you know, whether Julia's first or Talia's first, what I want to do is I want to reduce this 2 to 1. And how do you reduce 2 to 1? Okay, so we're just going to think of in terms of that. How do you reduce 2 to 1? You divide by 2. Okay, so what we're going to say is, look, in the, you know, how many ways can you arrange these people? So in the first place, you have three choices. In the second place, you have two choices, so three times two. Except, you know, we, we, the order doesn't matter to us. We want to reduce this, so we divide by two, and you end up getting three. Okay? So here are your three outcomes. Okay? All right, so you can think of it this way. Remember, to get the three times two, 
we would think of that as 3 factorial divided by 1 factorial. Don't worry about this. Okay, we're not going to be doing, dealing with this so much. Um, and then, to reduce it, we're going to divide by the number of choices, right? Um, so we're going to divide by 2 factorial. All right, so remember our R is the number of winners, N would be the number of people. Okay, so R is the uh, restricted number of choices, the restrictions, think of it that way, and N is the number of objects to choose from. So if we're looking at it that way, what we're saying is um, N prime over N minus R prime, that's how we would get the 3 times 2. And then we're dividing all that by the R prime, so the, you know, the number of winners. But don't don't worry about the formula so much. It's the way we calculated this in the first place. I think is a little bit easier. That's what we're really worried about. Combinations. Now in combinations, remember order does not matter. Okay. In combinations, we don't care about the order. Okay. So think about combinations and not caring. Okay. So we don't care about the order, and we're totally calm. It doesn't matter whether you come in first or second or third. In fact, we don't have a first, second, and third. There's no difference between first, second, or third, and that's how you know you have a combination. Okay? All right. So in this situation, Emma, Talia, Julia, Andrea, and Leslie have entered another combination contest where 10 gummy bears are awarded to the first three winners. Okay? The first three winners, it doesn't matter if you're picked first, second, or third, you're gonna get 10 gummy bears. Okay, names are not replaced after each drawing. Okay, so this is without replacement, without repetition. Okay? So scenario three, combination without repetition. All right, in case you've forgotten, this is Emma, this is Talia, Julia, and Andrea, and Leslie. Okay, so we have five people, but we're only picking three. Okay? And it doesn't matter if you're picked first, second, or third. All right, so for the first person, we could, how many choices do we have? We could pick, you know, any one of these people. We have five different choices, right? One, two, three, four, five. For the second person, right? Let's say we pick Leslie in the first place. We can't pick her in the second place. For the second person, we have one, two, three, four outcomes only, okay? Uh, for the third person, all right? So if we picked Leslie first and Andrea second, then we can't pick them again, all right? So for the, in the final place, because it's without replacement, right? Without repetition. So in the final place, we have one, two, three, and that's it, okay? So we have five times four times three. But that's if we were doing a permutation, right? Five times four times three. All right, now we can represent them, you know, like, like this way, like, like we have, all right? Or we could, you know, let's say, you know, we pick Leslie first, then we picked Andrea, then we picked Julia. All right, but what if we pick Leslie first, then Julia, then Andrea? All right, is there a difference between these two? No. Okay, these three people are each getting 10 gummy bears, no matter who was picked first, second, or third. There is no first, second, and third. Okay, and that's what makes it a combination. So it doesn't matter whether we pick them like this or like that. All right, but notice um, how many ways can you can you pick three people? All right, there's there's six different ways. Okay, so it's three factorial ways. Okay, think of it that way. All right. Now, since it doesn't matter whether it's Leslie, Andre Marie, or Julia, or whether you're going to pick uh, Andrea, Julia, Leslie, okay, it doesn't matter the order. So what we want to do is we want to take all these six different ways of writing it and reduce it to just one way of writing it. Okay, so how do you take six and reduce it to one? Why you divide by six? Okay, so how do you make six into one? Divide by six. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so we have five possibilities for the first for the first position we have five people we could choose for the second per person because the second position we already have chosen one person we have only four so five times four times three okay so we're going to take that five times four times three okay which is going to give us a permutation and we're going to divide that by the number of ways of writing these three people so we're going to divide that by six okay and that is going to give you 20 times three is 60 divided by six is 10 that works too all right but there's only 10 outcomes and let's go and look at those 10 outcomes. So let's say we pick Emma first, okay? And then we pick Talia second, and then we pick uh, Julia. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at all the different ways of picking Emma first, okay? So if I pick Emma first and then Talia first, uh, and I don't pick Julia, I could pick uh, Andrea Marie, okay? And then 
if I pick Emma Talia, I could also pick uh, Leslie. Okay. And if I picked Emma first, I think I'm finished with Talia, uh, and I picked uh, Julia second, then I could pick Andre Marie. And if I picked Emma first, Julia second, I could also pick Leslie. Okay. And then what if I picked Emma first, then Andrea Marie, and I could pick Leslie. And that's it. Okay. For for Emma first. Okay. So the next step is what if Talia is picked first? Okay. And I'm not talking about first. I'm just saying what if Talia wins? Okay. Or you know. So I'm just starting off with Emma. But remember, this means the same as like Emma Talia Julia means the same as as you know Julia Talia Emma. So it's not the the order is not important. It's just that I've picked these three people. Okay. So Talia first, and then Julia second. Who can I pick after? So um, Andrea, Marie, and then I could also pick Talia, then Julia, then Leslie. Okay, if I picked, if I picked uh, Talia and Julia. Okay, then if I pick Talia first, I could pick Andre Marie second, and then I have no other choice but to pick Leslie. Okay. All right. So those are all the Talia firsts. All right, what if we pick uh, Julia first? So Julia, then Andre Marie, then Leslie, and I think that's it, right? There's I, there's no other, like, there's, there's, of course, all kinds of different ways of putting Julia first, but none that we've already picked, that we haven't already picked, right? Like I can say Julia, then Emma, then Leslie. It's just, it's just we already have that up here, right? So, and that's it. That's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We end up getting 10, right? Um, now let's look at a formula for this. Don't worry about the formula so much. This is, you know, if you understand this part, this is really what we're going to be doing, okay? But I'm just going to show you formulas exist. All right, so what we're saying is to get this 5 times 4 times 3, okay? Remember, what we're going to do is we're, the shortcut is 5 factorial, okay? And then we want to get rid of the 2 times 1, right? So I'm going to divide by 2 factorial. So that gives me the 5 times 4 times 3. Then I want to divide that by 6. Remember, the 6 was the way, number of ways of writing, you know, of, of arranging these three people, right? Which is going to be 3 factorial. Okay, there's my 3 factorial. Okay, but let's just remember that the 5 was the number, like the total number of people that we're choosing from, and that the 3 was the number, like the restrictions, right? The number of winners. Okay, so R is the number of winners, and N is the number of people. So in this case, R is the number of restricted choices, and remember that's why we call it R. And N is the number of objects to choose from. So then to write this as a formula, we're going to take N factorial, okay, out of, now remember we're going to divide that by, uh, we divide that by the, uh, the 2 factorial. All right, now the 2, where did we get the 2 from, right? We did it because we wanted to go 5 times 4 times 3, okay? And then we want to get the, the next number down. So the next number down is going to be from doing the n, take away the r, right? The 5 take away the 3 steps gives us 2, okay? And that's where 2 factorial comes in. So it's going to be n take away r, in brackets, factorial, okay? And then we're going to divide that by the number of ways that we can write our 3, you know, we can write, we can arrange our 3 winners because we don't want to have all of these. We just want to have 1. And so the way the the three winners, that's our restriction, right? So R factorial, okay? And that's our formula. All right, and that is it for our combinations uh, without repetition. Have a good day.